What's up, guys? So in this Shoki unboxes, I'm going to take a look at this. The Region Lays Julia. Now, I'm trying to get a bunch of 2017 kits knocked out by the end of 2017, although this review won't actually be live until into 2018. But if you guys see this on the best and worst list, you know, maybe I'll give it a fair shake. But I thought because the Region Lays itself was one of the worst kits I did last year, I'm hoping that its update, its bigger, better self, might actually be able to redeem it. But let's go ahead and get this unboxed and find out. I do know, of course, that interior-wise, this is pretty much a Region Lays on the inside. I'm already seeing that I have a lot of little stuff to have to deal with here. Bags on the floor. Okay, so we've got stickers. I think some of these thingies probably have to do with these little sword blades. Yeah, because there's like yellow. <laughs> Those are supposed to be like yellow. Huh. Yep, I'm already seeing I'm going to bite off a little bit more than I can chew. But then there's the normal region lays E kind of stuff. Actually, these might be going around the head right here. We'll see what happens. Alright, so we've got side booster thingies, other booster thingies, knee covers, V, not V-fin, chest part, mm, face part, the not chain sword. Uh, all new runners here, so not just straight up region lays. You got the extra parts for the knees. You got extra thrusters here. Not entirely certain. We'll figure it out. You got like kind of claw hands. Extra little blade parts that come out of somewhere. No clue. More thrusters. Normal kind of hoses right there. No idea what these are. No idea what these are. They look like big claws. Probably the feet. Extra big hip parts. Extra looking wrist kind of parts. And guys, this is, of course, me basically trying to bite off more than I could chew again. So, I'm going to get a bunch of kits all knocked out by the end of the year. So, we've got big side thrusters. We've got big shoulder thrusters, what I assume is a butt skirt. Front skirt, top of the head. No, this is probably a top of the head thing. I'm not sure. I don't know what the heck this piece is. That's, that looks like part of a stand. Maybe it is. Because I know this thing does come with a stand. Alright, we got a bunch of armor all over this thing. I have no clue what any of it does. These look like knees. These look like side skirts. That's definitely the bottom of the head type area. That's your general kind of chesty type area. No clue on the rest of it, to be perfectly honest. I don't know enough about this thing. This is going to be the skirts where the thrusters are. Oh, hey, look. Regular region lays armor. I can tell already with this dark green... Probably gonna have a lot of the same issues I had at least with that part of the kit build. Poly caps. I like the fact that even with all that this thing comes with, poly caps are the same. Normal region lays bits. That's all stuff we've seen before. And the final thingy, if I can get it out of here. Here's all of the frame runner, which is, I think, just the straight up region lays runner. on the floor but we do get a stand so I think maybe that other piece is part of the stand could be wrong uh, if I had to guess that is just the regular region lays frame runner no it's actually that's a region lays Julia no something's different yeah that's definitely a whole new thing so this I guess is a brand new frame runner for the most part and you've got assembly instructions. You've got the image of it right there. Very large and insect-like. A lot of people said this thing is basically like the Grey's Ein version of the region lays. I probably won't disagree. Though the instructions seem to be fairly straightforward. I'm not going to be building just basically a straight-up frame, though. I do think I'm going to use some of the stickers to save some time like these guys I'll probably use these don't look terrible this is probably the reactor 
stuff like that. That's obviously the eye. Things like this I'm probably going to continue to use just because. And I'm not going to go to any extraordinary measures, but any of the spots that are like supposed to be black like that, I will definitely go ahead and paint. And you guys know, of course, I'm, I've done the Barbatos Lupus Rex because I wanted to finish out the year with that. But, of course, this thing, I just want to see where it's going to finish. Because I, I think the, the region lays needed some kind of redemption after last year's just terrible terrible debacle on that so I'm gonna try to knock this thing out in a couple days there won't obviously uh, the review won't be up until you know this year which is 2018 but it will be on the list and as I you know this weird YouTube time travel I'm talking to you from 2017 about a kit that you guys aren't seeing until 2018 but it will be on the list so yay for that so make sure you stick around for that review and if you haven't go check out the best and worst list of 2017 the class of 2017 it should be up here one of the, my patrons as always you guys are great and your support in this new year is always going to be needed and if you guys are interested in it it will be on the screen to go over there if you want to donate and pitch in to help so yay for that so here's to 2018 guys and let's get going. So remember as always, keep on building.